All right, guys, so once you're done with the retopology of the entire model, everything's looking good, and you have the suffix that's low for all of your different parts of your model. Now you want to just double check the UVs before you export your model. So let's just go to UV, UV editor, and let's just take a quick gander at the uh, UV spacing here. And this looks really good. This is what you want to see. This is what employers are going to be looking for to ensure that you know how to pack your UVs of your model. And I just happen to get this inside of uh, one texture map. So uh, really quick, let's just check the pattern on the model to ensure that there's no distortion. Everything's uh, packed correctly, it looks good. Now we can start exporting this out as a FBX. So with the low poly selected, you just wanna go to file, export selection, and export this out. And I've already done a copy of it, so I'll just overwrite that. And sure, it says RPG, underscore low, I'm gonna keep that same suffix. And one thing I will do just so you guys can see the difference is I'll slide the high poly, I'll, un, I'll, I'll make it visible and I'll slide it over so you guys can see the comparison between the poly count. So with them both selected, you can very, see, you can like very clearly see that the one on the left, which is the high poly, is really dense, and you don't want this going into your game engine because this is going to bog down your processor and your game engine very dramatically. And this is why we retopologize so we can put more objects like this low poly version inside there. Now, with the high poly, one thing I will do really quick is just delete the high poly because I don't need this. I'm not going to be exporting this version of the high poly because what I like to do. And uh, is take the high poly is and import it into ZBrush so I can add surface imperfections, dents, scratch marks, and that that kind of stuff. So I'll catch you guys over in ZBrush.